Hey guys, how you doing? Just a quick little video about boom and bust cycles. So I'm down here in South Florida, checking things out to see if I wanted to live here. Now, the problem is, is that we are now in a boom cycle with Florida real estate. Florida has a long history, by the way, of going through these big boom and bust cycles. So real estates go up in value, then they crash, and they go back up and they crash. Every time it gets to a boom, Everybody involved in it says, it's different this time. For this and this and this reason, it's not going to bust. It's not going to bust. So, for example, I'm down here. I've been here for four months to test out something. You know, if you're thinking of moving somewhere, my uh, advice, well, what I did, I came down here. I've been living here for four months. I wanted to get a feel. How do I like living in South Florida? Do I like Delray? Do I like Boca? Do I like Miami? Do I like the Keys, et cetera, and so on? It's been very illuminating. I have a much better idea about what it is to live here. You can't get a great idea about any place if you're just there for a month or, or a couple of weeks. You have to be here for months. Anyhow, so boom and bust. So people down here who bought, they believe, of course, this is not a typical boom and bust cycle. They think this is permanent and they have their reasons. The reasons they cite this time, you got all these people moving down to Florida. We'll see. We'll see. But let me tell you something. I've been looking around, checked out a few houses, uh, looked at some condos, etc. And you got some crazy, crazy stuff going on. Now, typically, historically, houses go up. Uh, the prices of a house goes up at the, um, at the rate of inflation. So whatever, it usually is 2 or 3% a year. Last few years have been quite a bit because the government, governments around the world printed trillions of dollars. Anyway, to me, when you see things go up like this super fast, typically they go down just as fast at some point. Not always, but typically. So here we are. I'm not going to buy in Florida because it's just overvalued. In my opinion, could be wrong. Carrying costs are crazy, and uh, you know insurance, HOA fees if you're in a condo. Uh, yeah, that's that's enough. Taxes hugely expensive, so it's just not worth it. I was thinking, okay, I take a million bucks and I buy a piece of property. It's still going to cost me maybe twenty five thousand dollars a year, conservatively speaking, in insurance, uh, maintenance, and taxes. So I put out a million dollars. I take a million. Boom, buy no mortgage. And it's still going to cost me 25000 bucks a year. On the other side, I take a million bucks, I can put it in a GIC, I can easily make 5% a year. Put it in a broader market, you can easily make 6 7% a year. So that's 60 70 k a year. And uh, so you take 40 of that, you rent someplace, you have no responsibility, no headache, no surprises. You rent, something happens, not your problem, and you're still up. So you still have your million cash, liquid, which is great. Hard to sell a place when the market is down, right? Nobody wants to buy. So better to have a million invested in the market or in a GIC because you can get out your money right, right away. Number two, you're not bound to the property. You can move around and you get a nice self-driving vehicle with massage seats like me. And you drive around and you can go from state to state, city to city, experiencing all kinds of interesting places. And on top of that, you're up, you're up, you're up quite a bit. You're putting more money in your pocket. So the only flip side to that is if you assume that the real estate is going to continue to go up in value. That may happen. I don't know. But that's a long-term investment and you're bound to it. Final point. Buy a property if you're looking for a lifestyle, right? You got a wife, kids, or you got a family you want to raise. You want a particular area. You want a stable home. You want to customize it the way you want, put in a sauna or whatever you want to do, landscape it the way you want. Yeah, that's why you buy. So if you're going to buy, think of it as a lifestyle choice rather than an investment. I know traditionally they've been very good investments, but eh, we're at, I think we're at a tippy top situation right now in terms of markets. That all said, my ability to predict housing prices is pretty much zero accuracy. I'm good at other things, but when it comes to home and real estate uh, evaluations, I have zero track record in that regard, so don't take my word for it. The principles, though, are sound. The principles, though, are sound. I just don't know where prices are going to go. Personally, 
I'd rather have a million bucks invested uh, and getting cash coming out of that and having that flexibility rather than having a million dollars locked up in a piece of property that will break, that has to be insured, that is a liability to a certain extent. Because of that, you got this fixed cost. Whereas if you're renting, a hurricane starts blowing through South Florida and you're in a rental, you just you know get in your self-driving vehicle and you, whoosh, you drive away and you don't have to worry about it. On the other hand, if you own the place, you're biting your nails like, oh boy, is this hurricane going to destroy my home? And what's going to happen to my insurance costs? All right, I hope you found this useful. Uh, just another quick video on personal finance, finance. The key to financial independence is to understand money, understand how money works, understand investment opportunities, investment risk. That's why I cover this in this channel. All right, cheers. I have a bunch of videos planned out for this particular channel. Uh, just to let you know, I uh, got back from my trip in Florida, so I'm going to have much more time now. The problem is when you go to sunny Florida, you start inviting people and everybody starts showing up. I'm happy to have my friends visit but and family, but uh, it takes up a lot of your time. The reason I have this second channel, I, apart from my coding channel, was so that I can cover subjects uh, outside of software development and coding. So if you, my other channel, if you're not aware, I have about a quarter million subscribers. It's all about software development, coding, Java, JavaScript, PHP, Python, SQL, et cetera, and so forth. So this channel is more broad-based. I don't get into the code here. So uh, what am I talking about now? My most important course. What's my import most important course? I think my most important course I ever put out based on what people have told me, is the course with the weirdest name, and that's Lizard Wizard. Lizard Wizard. So here it is right here. Boom. Let me just uh, highlight that. So this is Lizard Wizard, and uh, it is, well, master your lizard brain and master your life. So that's the, uh, the tagline here. Essentially, it is a very practical set of tools that I'm providing here, but helps you first to A, understand how your brain actually works, what motivates you, why you feel anxieties and fears, why you feel angry some days and not other days, how to create motivation in yourself, et cetera, and so on. It's derived from my background in psychology. That was my major in university, although I'm, I'm not a psychologist, but that was my major. And I kept up to date with certain aspects of that field because I know how important it is. But I also brought in a lot of stuff that I learned from martial arts, from meditative practices I've been involved with, and even my business experience, believe it or not. So all these things go into this first Lizard Wizard course. So I cover techniques on how the lizard brain affects your dating, how you, the lizard brain affects your uh, reality, your perceptions of reality, why mastering the lizard brain is so important. If you want to really get, maximize your own potential, it's very important to understand this stuff. And we get into specifics like the power poles and so forth. So you can go watch some demo videos here. And so you got the, how the lizard brain learns, how it affects the motions, the role that your lizard brain plays in your own, your own existence, really. <laughs> anyway. So we have lots of theory, lots of practical, so hands-on techniques. Very different from anything else you've ever seen. This is Lizard Wizard. I think it's probably my best course. So uh, I invite you to take a look. All right, much more to come. Don't ignore your mind and your body in terms of health, mental health, physical health, what you eat, what you consume, whether it be what you consume in terms of nutrients, and what you consume in terms of your eyes, what you hear, what you see has profound impacts in terms of how your brain works and your level of happiness, your level of success. No doubt, no doubt. All right, more to come. Cheers. I should have said that part like this. Anyway, yeah, so if you have any comments or questions about anything I talk about in this video or others, feel free to comment. As you can see now that I'm back from sunny Florida, back into the frozen wasteland that is uh, Montreal, Canada, um, I will be engaging more with the video content. Cheers.